The first spacecraft flew past Mars a little over 50 years ago, and since then we've learned a great deal about the planet's atmosphere and geology, including the discovery of water on its surface that could have supported microbial life. But two-thirds of the more than 50 missions launched to Mars have failed, and until now just seven of them have managed to successfully negotiate the planet's thin atmosphere. After seven months in space, the Trace Gas Orbiter and Schiaparelli Landing Module have travelled 206 million kilometres. The lander, weighing 500 kilos, enters the Martian atmosphere at more than 21,000 kilometres an hour, which is why a series of braking techniques are being tested. In just four minutes, a heat shield safely slows the craft to around 1,700 kilometres an hour. Then a parachute is deployed. A minute later, still travelling at 250 kilometres an hour, the craft's own thrusters fire, stopping its fall completely before dropping the last two metres onto the Martian surface. It's a landing technique scientists hope to use for future missions. Having sampled the atmosphere on the way down, it's hoped the lander will spend the next two days until its batteries run out testing the composition of the planet's surface. Above the planet, the trace gas orbiter will fire its engines, then use a novel braking method to enter an orbit around Mars. With ExoMars, ESA is going to use for the first time a method called aerobraking for a spacecraft in orbit around Mars to decrease the orbit by letting it fly through the atmosphere and using the atmospheric density to slow it down instead of using fuel for the engines. As it orbits Mars, the trace gas orbiter will be sniffing for a number of gases, including methane. It was first detected on the planet in 2003, but scientists are now keen to know whether it's coming from the planet's rocks or from biological sources, which, if this were the case, would suggest the existence, at least at some point in time, of life on Mars.